Hello. I want to explain how WordPress organises the content of your blog or your website using its database. There's three main ways, well there's four main ways, we're going to deal with three of them. The three we're going to deal with are WordPress organises your content by date, so these are the archives and it goes um, like September, October, November, December, January, February. So it organises your content by date, so if you made it in January, you can look into the archives at January and find that post. But, excuse me, <coughs> it all, WordPress also uses categories. Now you can make your own categories up, you can make up whatever categories you want, and they're very easy to make. So, suppose you had a lot of information about flowers and botany, you could just make a category, and then every time you make a post that's... Uh, that fits in that category you just assign the post to that category or food and recipes that'd be a popular category for a lot of people so as well as categories there are tags and you assign a tag to a post or you can assign several tags to a post so let's have a look these are the at the bottom of the post it's telling us here that it was posted by rosemary it was filed in the bits and pieces category. A category is like a, um, a chapter of a book. If you think of a chapter of a book, it's a place where you can put a lot of other bits inside it. And that's what a category is, very similar to a chapter of a book. And she's also assigned these tags to, the, um, to, to this post. Now the good thing, or the interesting thing about this is, if we can have a look, Ooh, have a look, Right, if we go to say, if we click this tag, says clocks, that'll take us to a page, a bit like a blog page, that takes us to all the posts that are about blogs. But if you have a look here in the URL, it says tag and then clocks. So we could go to tag clocks and that'll take us to all the clock tags. So all these posts will have something to do with clocks, but if we go to um, the winter tag, if you watch here, it'll change to tag winter. So, and all these posts will have something to do with winter. And then, if we go to a category, say handmade things, see now instead of saying tag, it says category, and it's the category of handmade things. Now, this is really useful for building lists of. Um, posts that you've made. Anyway, you probably get into that a bit later on when it's a bit. You might not be so interested in that yet, but it is a really useful thing we can use in the future. So, how do we add posts, uh, cat categories, and tags? Right. What we need to do over in the side sidebar, you can if you cl click posts categories. Here you can add as many categories as you want. You could add four or five at a time if you want to. I wouldn't recommend having more than four categories to start with. Keep your blog fairly tightly focused if you can. Um, and then add more categories if you need to. Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Right. So that's how you add new categories. Um, and you can add tags in the same way. So with posts, tags, and just add a new tag. There you go. But most of the time you'll just add the tags and the categories as you're making posts. So if we go to post, add new, and down here when you when you add your new page, put your title in there, your content in here, and then here we've got the categories tab here. And these are categories that are already in this blog that have already been made. If you want to add a new one, click there and add one. Or tags, you can add tags here. Or you can choose from the most popular used tags and just click one and it will add it for you. In theory. There we go. Biscuits, bones and dog treats there. And if you want to get rid, just click there. And it will go away or type it in by hand. If you type more than one in at once by hand, put a comma between them. Right, so that's how you add the tags and the categories to each post or page. Well, you can't, you can't add 
ta categories and tags to pages just to posts you can't add them to pages um, or what you can do you've got a default category when you first start your when you first get your WordPress site or blog it'll have a only one category and that category will be called unclassified now you could add as many new ones as you want and then you could change the default category from unclassified to whichever one you suppose you wanted it to be caring for your dog you can change it to that that will be the default category and the, the way that we do that is um, in the dashboard go to settings writing and where it says default post category you could set there caring for your dog or whatever you want it to be so long as you've already made it you've got to have already made the category before you can set it here but that's how you do that um right well i think i've shown you fairly much all i wanted to show you um let's have a look yep so all we need to do oh <laughs> i didn't show you how to add the um the widgets in the sidebar right once you've got your categories and your tags the way you display them is in the s widgets in the sidebar so I'll go to appearance widgets and if you haven't used widgets before you just pick a widget that you like over here and you just drag it over there so in the sidebar I've got recent posts widget and that will automatically find the most recent posts I've set that to have just the three most recent posts but you could set it to five or ten or whatever you want um, and it will automatically fa <laughs> excuse me <coughs> I do beg your pardon right that will automatically find and display the three most recent posts that you've made or the five or whatever you set that there to be right archives are the ones with dates on so where we saw all these with dates on their archives we've got the, the archives there and categories now categories let's have a look I'll show you the actual page that that one relates to and then taking its title there we go right so these are the categories and if I added a new category pardon me <coughs> if I added a new category um, it would automatically appear here when I assign it to a post if I have a, I've got a post that uses a category it would automatically appear in this widget I don't have to do it myself it would just automatically pop up here then you could click the link and it would take you to that category right so that's how you actually display the, the uh, categories and archives in the sidebar using widgets so let's have another look see if there's anything else I need to tell you no when, when you're adding tags basically um, a category is a broad subject like um, a bit like a chapter of a book and I think of a category of a tag it's like the index in the back of the book it's just a, a very tightly uh, focused um, quite, um, often a little snippet of information that's also in that post so this is the the, the the category is the main topic and the tags are just little bits of extra snippets of information that are also in the post but that's not the main subject of the post the, you assign it to the category that's the main subject and then your tags are just a little extra bit of snippet of information that's also in there well I'll leave it there oh if you want to know more information this this video is made for a website called using-wordpress.org um, and so there's more information there if you want if you want to uh, to find out more so thanks for watching I do hope you pop back when I'm not so full of gold <laughs> thanks for watching and I do hope to see you again bye